Hello everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. Um, today I want to show you a loaded envelope that I made for a swap partner. Um, we're finally going to get to mail it out. Um, this took me a while to work on. I've had a lot of things going on, so little by little. I have some other projects I gotta work on too for some swaps. Um, well, I've started, but I haven't done. This one was supposed to be done months ago, um, but I was kind of like uh, a little slow and just taking my time with it. Um, but it's finally done, so I want to share it before I mail it off. Um, this one is a card that I made. These cards are from Tuesday morning. Um, this came out so pretty. The cards are so easy. You just add your sequence. Everything's ready to go. Paste it together, and it was just really, really convenient. So I think I'm going to buy some more of those. It's just faster. So I decorated the top there. Um, this is a little clip. I clipped the envelope on so she can reuse it, and then I just decorated everything on the bottom added stickles everything came out so pretty I added some diamond dust here so that the flower comes out real sparkly it came out really nice this is so pretty I love this card really really love this card it's so pretty so hopefully she likes it um, the next thing in here I have are these little bags that I got from Hobby Lobby I just decorated them um, decorated the first one I have gave her several that she can decorate um, I added a little pick here with the little rabbit I love that rabbit, it's so cute. Um, another clip, a little butterfly uh, die cut that I made, and these little bee um, picks that I bought um, at Hobby Lobby. They went so well with the collection. Um, I mean, it matches just so pretty here. I mean, it go, like totally goes with it. So um, I bought some of these. They were in like the party section. Um, I think it was like a bee theme party, but um, these were so pretty, so I put two of those. I made some bows. These are die cut from, I think Amazon or AliExpress that I got, um, just decorated. I thought they were so pretty. The material, this is like a leather and this is like a iridescent leather see-through, so pretty. Um, here I packaged her something up. Um, I gave her some, something Maggie Holmes, I don't remember, but um, I went ahead and sewed the edges and did like different patterns this time. It came out really pretty. Um, and then just decorated it. So it was just so pretty. This collection is just so pretty. I hope she likes that. Decorated this little bag. It was just so simple. The bag is just so pretty itself. I just added a bow and then added a bunch of ephemera from the garden party collection. Um, these I got, I saw a tutorial by the Vintage Goose. Um, I think her name's Melissa, um, is what I hear her, um, other people call her, so I think that's her name, but she did these little, um, like banner embellishments, and I went ahead and tried them, and they came out so cute, so I gave her four of those, I made four of those, um, here I put in another uh, gift, I think it's just, I don't remember what I put in, <laughs> I should have wrote it down, but I taped it there. Um, and then this bag was from Hobby Lobby. It's just so pretty. And I just added a simple butterfly there. Um, I sent her some of my flowers that I make. Um, and these, I learned to make these from a tutorial from, her name is Mrs. Evely on YouTube. Um, so she made these and I want to make a tutorial because somebody had asked me how I made them. But I'll also put uh, Mrs. Evely's link on there so she can see how she makes them too. But. Um, it's pretty much the same. Um, they're pretty fast, easy. It took some practice to learn these, but um, after a while, you know, I, I finally got it. So gave her four of those handmade flowers. Um, I would gave her this. She really loves Maggie Holmes, so I gave her um, a pack of the Flourish. Then I just added here. I put it on a silver clip. This is the Prima flower, and I just put it on there. It's so pretty. And then I added. I made like one of those tassels that they're making and then those are so pretty. I want to make some more of those and it just came out real simple. So I made that. And then this is the inside of the envelope. And the paper is just so pretty. I added some rose trim. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was very pretty. And then just made something simple. Um, added some beads here. And this came out so pretty. There's like a little bird there. Um, it says lovely. I added some of this um, trim from Hobby Lobby and some stars. 
some more flowers and I added stickles and diamond dust and then I just wanted to add this fox because he's just so cute and then I dazzled him up with some glitter glitter glue so it came out really pretty so I'll be mailing this off today and hopefully she'll get it in a few days um, and um, then I'll be sharing what she sent me I should get it by Friday I want to say we mailed it off um, so she did a Maggie Holmes theme as well so um, anyways that's everything I, I made and this collection is just so fun it's so pretty it's just so relaxing it's, it's stress free stress free you know like it reduces your stress because you're just enjoying all the cute things and it kind of you know takes you to takes me to a place where I just want to go like to a peaceful beautiful garden and just relax for a while and so that's why I do crafting because it helps release a lot of um, stress and things but then the finished work is just so pretty very pretty so um, thanks for watching my video um, thanks for subscribing if you're new and watching my videos I really appreciate it and um, I'll be post po um, posting some more videos up so um, again thank you for watching have a great um, week today's Wednesday so have the great rest of the week and happy crafting Okay, bye-bye.